addresses Sanglemore as a settled mid division and indeed Wallace Windburn is attacking a bold defensive policy and in my judgment the right thing to do but Brian Rouse we know uh, didn't want to hang around on Karinga Bay make a good test of stamina and he's got through on the inside of Anshan and Wallace Windburn as they come through the first quarter mile and these two big Colts have pulled five clear of the remainder Rajwaki shows third and Rich Point a gap of two to Sanglemore and then Laxi Bay with Dorset due at the back marker and this is a true test and uh, Anshan has just risen uh, to the task and just lifted his game and he's gone on by two to Karinga Bay the gap of five to Rajwaki with Rich Point on the outside showing four the progressive Sanglemore back in five and then Laxi Bay and Dorset Duke has got to come from uh, ten lengths off the pace to win if he's going to as they come down past the six furlong pole and it's Anshan the pace has just been set in a little bit now and the others you can see are closing up to uh, him Karinga Bay's in second but the third horse Rajwaki is towed right up to within a length of the second now rich point with the blue steers sanglemore well placed traveling well then laxi bay and still dorset duke the back marker it's left hand down round the home turn and anshan uh, took a very keen hold going down at the start they normally turn at a furlong here and this horse took uh, three furlongs before Porter swinberg could pull him up to turn him to go down to the start that's anshan the favorite on the right but down the center of the track with the red cap is uh, Rajwaki also coming with him is Karinga Bay in blue. Laxi Bay is off the pace. Dorset Duke won't be winning. And uh, Sanglemore, the challenger, is the horse with the right face. But Karinga Bay for the north has come to press Anshan. And it's Karinga Bay on the left and Anshan on the right. Now stamina, two furlongs to go. And it's Karinga Bay on the left in the blue. Anshan and Sanglemore putting in a big finish on the right. That's the horse with the white face. Laxi Bay is finishing well. Four horses in this race and it's Sanglemore on the right. And Karinga Bay on the left. And Sanglemore and Karinga Bay, there's not much between them. And Shan is beaten. And it's the progressive Sanglemore going on from Karinga Bay and Anshan up towards the line. And Sanglemore wins it from Karinga Bay. A big race a second. And Shan was third and Laxi Bay, a disappointing four, a gap of ten to which point Dorset Duke and Rajwaki last of all. And so the result then of this William Hill Dante, it's a win for this number. 10 Sangla Moore in the colors of Khaled Abdullah that's the green with a pink sash and cap and of course these colors could be, will be carried next week uh, at Goodwood on digression but a good run this by Sangla Moore came well finished well stayed well off a true pace written by Pat Hittery and it's uh, Pat's fifth winner in this race following uh, hot touch Jamister and Ray Glur amongst others and is landed uh, good bets of 11 to 2 close to the death trained at uh, Beckhampton by Roger Charlton. Second horse home is number four, Karinga Bay. Big run by that one, ridden by Brian Rouse, out to make it a true test of stamina, and that could have been the undoing on this soft ground for number one, Anshan, the favorite, at the back of the picture there. But a big run by Sanglamore, this son of Sharpen Up. <laughs>